Blues and the big story from the weekend. <laughs> uh, plenty of celebration for the Bluebirds after Haverford West County uh, beat Newtown 4-3 in a dramatic penalty shootout to secure uh, Europa Conference League football for next season. It was some Saturday evening. I'm sure it continued uh, long into the night as well with celebrations. We've got the Haverford West County manager, Tony Pennock, uh, with us on Pure West Sport to reflect on it. Tony, how are you? I'm uh, I'm just starting to realise what we've achieved, really. It's been a, it's been a mad 48 hours, but uh, yeah, really good. Really good, thank you. Well, I think for, for all of us who, who watched the game on, on Saturday, <coughs> it, it was it was some occasion, wasn't it? Where When it went to penalties, how are you feeling at that point? Because you've you come through the, the game against Cardiff Met the same way as well. Um, what was going through your mind during that shootout? Ah, uh, it, it was strange, really. Obviously, we did it the week before, and um, to go to Pens again. I, I, th- I thought on the day, I thought we were better than we were against Met. I thought we had better chances. Um, and I just thought it'd be a shame now to come this far and, and to lose out on Pens. But you know, it's just one of those things. Of either us or Newtown, and four mm. it was us that got through. And just before I let Gordon Fraser and Tom come in, what what were your thoughts on how the players dealt with the two penalty shootouts? Because there was pressure, wasn't there? And, and and Corey Shepherd, when he stepped up to score that winning penalty, um, must have been feeling it. He, he pretty much said as much, didn't he, on the TV afterwards? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but he, he, he very much did stand up when when it counted, Tony. See, so the, the mentality of the players were, were really, really good. Yeah, there's penalties. It's, it's such a lottery, really, when you go to pens. You know, you can, you can have a bit of luck. You know, you know the first pen, uh, we, we'd done all our, our match analysis on, on Newtown's penalties and Zach had seen them all and, and the Idzi had seen them all and he, and he decided that as soon as uh, Williams came up, he was just going to stand still in the middle and it paid off, you know. And obviously the other lad um, missed one as well. But um, to get to the same situation with two pens left to, to, to win it and then obviously... Forcey misses his, and then the pressure on Sheppy, then same as it was on Elliot the week before. Mm. It's lost him, just doubles and, and his end. Is it there? Yeah, that'll be a connect. We are having a, a few connection issues with Tony here, Ben. Yeah, I think we're just about. Yeah, we'll just we'll just carry on. Just set. We just lost you just towards the end there, um, Tony. But hopefully, we'll, we'll just try again with with one more question. Let me bring the guys in in the studio. So, uh, Gordon and Fraser, uh, you, you you got questions for Tony as well. Let's just see whether the connection will will just stand up for a few more minutes. Yeah, Tony. Obviously, um, firstly, congratulations. Obviously, getting you. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. You're in good. Just say congratulations, Tony. Obviously, getting to Europe is. is Huge achievement for, for the players and the club and um, what it means. But uh, for you as a manager now, I, I dare say you will be looking at um, at new signings in the summer, as every club does in Welsh Premier level. Will being in Europe and being able to offer the caveat of potential European football to people coming in, do you think that now strengthens your position in the market? I guess we'll never know. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure we're going to be able to carry on with Tony for the time being. It does seem like the the connection's not working for us tonight, unfortunately. But I think we kind of get the gist from, from what he was saying in those opening few answers, don't we, about how much it meant to to everyone connected with the club that they came through that penalty shootout victory. And actually, Fraser and, and Gordon, we, we, can, we can pick up a bit between us as well, because I know... Um, you've both followed the Bluebirds for, for so many years as well. And, and Fraser, you make a great point there about squad strengthening um, because... Yeah, I'm trying to... Oh, do we have Tony back there? No, I think I think we're going to have to probably give up on the, on that connection. I think, aren't we? Um, but you, you make a point there, Fraser, about squad strength, and let me let me just finish mm. what I was going to say to you there because the, the turnaround is quick, isn't it? Now, mm. as, as mm. they get ready for Europe, it's not far away. Um, the, the season's just finished, but the draw is in June, and they're going to have to get ready for that quite quickly, aren't they? 
Yeah, absolutely. Um, you just said it yourself. Your pre season is pretty much sorted so, already. We'll be playing European playoff games. Minute, I know, I've got a number of boys that I'll be meeting with over the next two or three days that are out of contract um, mm. and seeing where they are in terms of us moving forward for next season. Well, no, I think that I think okay. we're, we're getting a, we're getting a bit of a tangle yeah. on the line, aren't we? Unfortunately, mm, so, I think so. I, there, there's some delay in, in in Tony's answer, so we'll probably have to leave it there with him um, for now. And we will try again, absolutely try again. Just just carry on though, Fraser. What, what we were what we were saying there yeah. in terms of um, building the squad. The the draw is in June, um, so the turnaround is quick, um, and and it's going to be quite exciting, I think, in terms of getting the squad ready because they're not going to have that much time off, are they? No, no, not at all. Uh, and like I said, I imagine Tony would have outlined targets. I think it's inevitable that European football would, would elevate the, their position in the market now. I think Rob has invested each summer. No one can deny that. I imagine he'll invest again this summer, especially now with that caveat of European football. So I, I imagine he didn't get to, to say his answer there. Unfortunately, people do go different ways. There will be some releases. Um, there is every every summer at Half West, isn't there? That, that's inevitable. But I think you could now see a stronger crop of signings coming in Having the, given the way they finished and also the way it's been marketed as well, it's been it's been a, an engaging story. Yeah. You know, the yeah. two successive penalty shootouts, yeah. finishing seventh in the last yeah. spot yeah. and yet going through, you know, it, it, it's the sort of thing that players follow. They would have seen the meadow on, yeah. on the television. They've seen the facility, seen yeah. the celebration. It's definitely higher the profile. Yeah. It attracts players to clubs. Yeah. So I think, I think this will help. But, so, but, but before we get ahead of ourselves for Europe, Tony's got to take a lot of credit at Christmas mm. time. The mm. club wasn't playing yeah. particularly well. The reason being, there were so many injuries and suspensions and boys being drafted in out of position. He was finding it difficult. Yeah. I think if we had the chance to talk to him, he, he would say it was probably a very difficult time. He brought in a couple of signings. He brought in Jack Leahy. He brought in Daniel Hawkins. Yeah. And it's sort of got momentum and Corey Shepherd came back from injury yeah. in the in the last half a dozen games and they looked at and Henry Jones they yeah. looked a totally different team uh so you know they got momentum that way but as you just said now we've got to Europe so quickly and you know he's going to have to strengthen and there will be a few boys going as well. And that always happens every season as well, unfortunately. But he did brilliantly. It was great manager. He was, a, you know, a good foresight for, for, through his management that they got as far as what they did and the players produced the goods. Two, yeah, two be, things. Yeah. Two, two things I just pick up on there from, from what the two of you have said. I think, one, the recruitment. And I think you have to say to, to the chairman, Rob Edwards, we, we followed this story because it, it's kind of coincided with Pure West Sport being on the air, hasn't it? So we, we followed it through from when Rob um, first yeah. came in. Yeah. And his recruitment has been excellent. And, and then the second point, that, that momentum um, that carried through from the Cardiff game actually has been building up through this split, hasn't mm -hmm. it? When the, when the league yeah. split. Yeah. The Bluebirds' consistency has been really, really good. And and, and I think you, you almost earn your luck. And when we said to Tony there about coming through consecutive penalty shootouts, you know, you, you do earn your luck in football sometimes, don't you? And yeah. and, and you deserve the the the, the chance mm. to win games, even in a shootout, which is a lottery. Yeah, and so, I mean Tony was very sporting after the game as well. You know, he, he he's so dignified when he talks as well. Mm. He did give uh, Newtown a lot of credit and wish them all the best. And they were, you know, great achievement to get there and a great club as well. He was very dignified. He wasn't, uh, you know, uh, and I like that about uh, Tony. I think he's probably one of those managers that will get the best out of players because he can talk to them. He doesn't shout. He may shout behind closed doors, but he, he comes across as a very uh, in control uh, person, you know, he, yeah. he, he's very, composure. yeah, great composure. It's, yeah, it's worth remembering as well. There, we talk about him in struggling in the earlier weeks. He came in at the 11th hour, um, he did? didn't he? With Nicky Haynes, yeah, time, I, I believe I remember right. They didn't even have a full time manager in charge for the first couple of games of the season because of the timing of when yeah. Nicky Hay yeah. went. Yeah. So there was no pre season, there was no prelude, there was no build up to Tony Pennock coming through. He was thrown in at the deep end, and you know, he'd be the best manager in the world. It always takes a little while to unravel things, and he has done, he has. you know, and he's got a he's got a proven CV, he's got class credentials, yeah. and he's proven that in the, the second half. The, of the, the other thing I will say, I hope Alpha West County can hold on to him. Mm. Yeah, I, I think, and I think you know that will always be a thing, won't it? And it, it was yeah. the same with, with Nicky Hayen, and and I think yeah. for, for Tony, 
and, and we when he's just messaged to say unfortunately connection issues tonight but he will definitely be back on pure west sport uh, no very soon and, yeah. and he'll be back in the studio so we can have a proper chat to him but he, he took that chance didn't he, he stepped out from hull to, to come to haverford west and exactly. you know, he'll build a reputation for himself absolutely um if, if he continues to to have the success the bluebirds have had and uh, listen we are almost out of time what i just, did just want to say um you mentioned earlier i think gordon you said you didn't get a trip to iceland last time Haverford West were in Europe back yeah, in 2004. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure Pure West are going to pay for Fraser and I to go yeah. wherever it will be in Europe. No pressure, well, Toby Ellis. Just to say, the draw is on the 20th of June. Um, Haverford West won't be seeded um, in, in that draw. So that the possibility of the places they could go, uh, interesting, could be a, well, it could be as, as near as Northern Ireland. So it could yeah. be one of the, yeah. the sides of, from Northern Ireland. There's a possibility of a, a team from the Republic of Ireland as well. Yeah. Uh, but Gordon, you could be packing your bags, could be heading to Moldova. Oh, that's a tasty right. one. You could be, off, could be off to Albania. Uh, we'll go there, good. 50p yeah. a pint, I'm told. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> me, me and Thomas will do some damage there. <laughs> you, could be, you could be back to Iceland. That's a possibility. You could be off to no, Georgia. Expensive. There's a possibility of the, the Georgia yeah. League. The, the Kosovan yeah. League, we're, we're waiting for that, I think, to finish. We, we could be seeing uh, a team from Kosovo. Um, I think Slovakia is a possibility as well. Uh, all sorts. Uh, uh, of those, Gordon, any, any of them jump out for you? I think, I think Fraser's steer we'll on the We'll go anywhere. Fra Fraser and I aren't fussy, you know. We'll, we'll go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it, just to finish, in all seriousness, do you think would Haverford West rather play a side from a, a, a far flung part of Europe or would they rather an Irish side? For I instance? think they'd rather the expense of it. You've got to think of that yeah. as well. Yeah. I, I don't know how much Haverford West County are having for getting into Europa, but you've got to think of the cost of things as well, unfortunately, at uh, our level. Uh, so a, a nice little trip to Republic of Ireland or Northern Ireland would be okay. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, okay. That's the Republic of Ireland. Yeah. We'll, yeah, that'll we'll be keep nice. Go back to Dublin. That'll be a good, good crack. <laughs> On the Guinness. Uh, Tom. Yeah. They come over here. I tell you that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tony's been in touch. He's having Wi Fi issues as, as we figured out, but he'll yeah. have more information on Fraser's question and the details of friendlies before the first leg. Um, and oh, I, I do believe that he's free next Monday as well to potentially join Rob, the chairman, with us. And of course, you're talking about all these developments from the season. They were filming season two of You Can Have it all so we'll yeah. be able to find out all behind the doors i had a funny message from ryan because you remember we spoke about it on the yeah. show and he said it's your fault gordon and i said what, <laughs> what do you mean your fault you you put the seed in my head you said there's always drama down the bridge meadow have another season so i did oh, wow. <laughs> excellent <laughs> well listen we really are out of time so we are going to have to go um we will do more have for west next week and we'll, we'll definitely get tony and rob edwards back on because so much behind the scenes now to think about with the Bluebirds qualifying for Europe but a massive well done to them once again that was some achievement on Saturday and we are proud supporters of the Bluebirds here at Pure West uh, we maybe need to get someone from Oggy in touch with Tony and we'll sort his broadband <laughs> and Wi-Fi issues out for the next yeah. time <laughs> one or two technical problems we keep on smiling on Pure West Sport and we will leave you in the hands of Danny, Danny and Steve for the two hour takeover which is next on Pure West Radio Good night. 